The uh, parts ki- arrived from Lasara, the uh, parts for the uh, Samsung uh, refrigerator. So this part is the TV, TV, TOP, 264VG. And this is the MBR 2100 Charlie Tango CT. Now the part they gave me is MBRF. F having to do with this uh, plastic tab in the uh, previous uh, component this was uh, metal so with the F uh, it's uh, plastic covered metal so this is for uh, isolation you don't need to put uh, mica or some other uh, insulator if you want to heat, heat sink it so that's why it's like this i'm thinking of maybe putting in a heat sink but i have to find the proper heat sink don't have one so probably left it alone so we'll, we'll take a look at the uh, data sheet of the top so this is the data sheet of the top264 the the thing that uh, interested me uh, basically is how the uh, component is uh, used. They typically, uh, when you're looking at data sheets uh, of components, there's typically a sample circuit. So, looking at the, the this is the inside of the uh, chip. This is the block diagram. Uh, these are transistors and things uh, within the chip so this is the package there's different packages this is the E SIP single, single inline pins this is the V package K package so uh, in this case this V is the one that we're using this one, the, the metal tab is actually underneath, so you can actually see, heat sink it properly with the with a copper pour. This thing, this chip is really quite interesting. It has a lot of features. Uh, the fact that it actually blow its top means that some uh, some design criteria was uh, wasn't really calculated, uh, but it has. Uh, uh, safety or uh, safety limit. So in theory, if you if you design the the uh, uh, switching power supply uh, and you and you carefully uh, do its safety limit, y it shouldn't blow its top off. In theory, so so this is the uh, a sample schematic uh, of. Uh, the switcher uh, here they changed their, the, the topology uh, with with the uh, circuit board there's two outputs so this this would be the uh, this would be the 12 volts this would be the other output which uh, relates to which power up the 5 volt regulator but in this topology it, it's different uh, they use it as feedback. Uh, in the in the Samsung circuit board, 12 volts. This would be used as the the feedback. As you can see, there there is feedback. Uh, what I thought to be transistor is actually uh, a reference uh, voltage uh, component. So the the intensity being transmitted ac uh, across is proportional to the output voltage. So there's another schematic, more of the same, but I, I didn't have to reverse engineer the circuit board to understand how the uh, switching power supply topology is. It, this sample circuit is enough uh, to to understand uh, how the uh, TOP is used, and of course 
this is this would be the uh, this would be the uh, MBR 2100 uh, diodes so you can see it's uh, two diodes in one and it's shot key it has that curly thing so uh, this is TOP267 uh, BG uh, component and how it's uh, designed into the Samsung circuit board it's selected for a purpose and that's ease of use of the uh, switcher uh, by having this you could actually quickly design a switcher giving you your f uh, 12 volts and 5 volts so uh, that's why it's chosen and uh, so it's a BG let's see with the VG uh, let's see without the it's 267 so it's this one huh it's a lot of power don't know why it needs that much power I don't get it huh Oh, okay. With with this, with the metal heat sink, uh, then it's a lot of power. Without without heat sink, a uh, PCB copper pour, open frame. Let's see number three. So y you have to really look at this. Uh, this would be forty four watts. Open frame, 44 watts. And more, most likely, it's 32 watts, or at minimum 27 watts. Uh, design. It's still a lot of power. It's a lot of heat. So the uh, components arrived a few days ago, last week. Uh, they come trickled in. So the uh, MBR2100 CT, uh, they, they gave me MBRF, and that's the TOP267. And uh, I'm just going to remove this wire and the jumper, then install the uh, transformer, and then the component. Now when I was taking the uh, circuit board, I shocked myself. I touched the, the capacitor, uh, so give me the shock, and then of course I wanted to make sure there's no more voltage, so I shorted this and uh, gave me a big spark. Hopefully I didn't damage the cap, hopefully, we'll see how it goes. I should have used a resistor to discharge it slowly, but... Uh, I was too lazy. That's end result, huge spot. When repairing single-sided circuit board, you have to really uh, watch out. If you overheat the copper, it will begin to delaminate. That is to say that the copper will lift off the uh, uh, circuit board. So you really have to watch out. Uh, do it slowly. Uh, in fact, you have to make sure your the temperature tip. This tape is really at the right temperature for rework uh, because otherwise uh, jumper galore will ha will occur. In installing TO220, um, just bend the leads a little bit. That'll help maintain the uh, component standing up without falling off the circuit board. Uh, in the past. I just stick it in and start soldering. I learned that you gotta bend it a little bit and then and then cut the lid off. So now I'm going to install the uh, TOP267. Uh, for rework, you really have to have one of these uh, flocks. Uh, no, clean, no clean flocks. Now, which is made by Chemtronics. I used to use this a lot in my past life. Uh, uh, sadly, this is 
uh, over four years old. So the uh, the pen it's kind of dried out, sadly. I don't know if I can. I'll have to see if I can buy them from uh, Lazada. I hope they can. But anyway, it's vitally important to have a no clean flux when working with uh, surface mount or any on any throw holes where you don't really want to clean uh, the flux after. There are flux where it's so acidic that you have to clean it, clean them. Otherwise, it creates uh, a problem, signal problem and things uh, unforeseen. Okay, the uh, POP is installed. It's vitally important that you inspect uh, the leads so there's no shorting. Here is the source, so all of these are uh, shorted. So this part is actually, uh, this part is connected to the tang, the exposed metal tab. Uh, through this, in theory, it, it acts like a heat sink. So that is connected to the leads here, the source. So heat transfer is to the leads. So in theory, uh, it will uh, dissipate heat through those leads into the copper pore. So before doing anything, uh, powering it up, uh, you need a sanity check. Uh, so basically, check check for uh, short. So from here, of course, that's uh, that's going to be short. Uh, so the 12 volt output. That's ground. So it's 78k. Uh, it's charging a cap, so it's okay. Uh, let's see anything else. Yeah, well, I'll do a sanity check. I'm just gonna uh, power it up and then check for uh, five and five and four volts. So, uh, one of the, one side of the cap is ground, so it's 4.9, five volts, basically. Okay, what's up with this? It's kind of hard with just one finger. So, what is the input voltage? Gotta be careful with this thing. So, the input voltage uh, 220 is actually 246 right now, so it's 250. Um, unless you're uh, uh, in, uh, device or whatever can take this voltage. Uh, that's why things here tends to be easily damaged uh, when there's a uh, when there's a uh, storm or anything like that. Things things tend to get fried, and uh, maybe when when during that electrical storm uh, we had. Uh, it probably overstressed this uh, this component. So, well, I'm just gonna take it up, uh, install it into the fridge, and see what happens. Obviously, it should work, uh, having now repaired uh, the circuit board. I'm I'm just gonna check the uh, micro. I'm curious about the micro. Okay, the uh, circuit board is installed back without the uh, uh, external power supply. I'm going to plug it in. So it's plugged in. It made some weird noise. Huh. Okay, the uh, display is okay. So I'm just waiting for the inverter to be active. When everything is okay, this should turn solid on. Uh, it's probably doing something.
checking this and that. Uh, we'll see what happened after. Just gonna wait. Okay, the uh, the fridge is working. It just had the rest. Um, the the components replace. Uh, it's all right. Don't know how long this thing will last. Maybe four years. Or That's the reason why I bought uh, five of the top and ten of the uh, of the um, diodes. If it blows up again, I'll look at the design and uh, change uh, a value of some sort. Um, in theory, this is 30 maximum maximum 33 watts uh, divided by something. Actually, the the uh, the data sheet would tell me, uh, knowing that, and the the component use, it would tell me what how much current is being used. I might want to do is uh, do a, a current draw measurement and see what the actual uh, draw is. But that's later. If it blows up again, I will.